Do you wish that you could just reduce your to-do list and keep it at a manageable level? Or maybe even once in a while, get everything crossed off and feel good about completing all of those tasks? But it's a never-ending to-do list that drags you down and you never finish it. And you wonder if half the stuff on it is even yours. I get it. Here's the thing, though. Our to-do list is more about what we're feeling and thinking than what we're actually responsible for. The things that are on our to-do list, the way we engage them, how we handle them, how we procrastinate on some, put things off, take on tasks that don't belong to us, have more to do with our emotions than it does to do with the actual task. It's often what we're telling ourselves about that task that causes that angst inside of us. In the Emotions of Time Management, a brand new course that's coming out in the training library, I'm going to teach you three time management tools so that you can learn how to get through your to-do list in a way that is effective and puts the most important things first. And then I'm going to tell you why those time management tools probably aren't going to work for you. And again, it's going to boil back to our emotions and the thoughts we have. But what I am then going to teach you is how to navigate through those time management tools so that they are more effective for you. In the training library, there is a brand new course coming out. It's called the Emotions of Time Management. If you have been thinking about the training library, if you have been wondering, hemming and hawing, th- wondering if it's the right thing for you, now's the time to dive into the training library. If you are already a member, make sure that you pay attention to your weekly emails because I'm going to walk you through week by week. We're going to do this together week by week. Go through the lessons in the Emotions of Time Management so that you can learn how to use the tools, how they're most effective, why they're not going to work for you, and then how to make them work for you. So make sure you join me in the training library for that. In terms of the podcast, I'm taking a break over summer. I'm taking some time off. The podcast is going to go on hold until fall. Have no fear, it's coming back. But I want you to, in the meantime, dive into the courses in the training library. Start with the Time Management one if that's where you are at. But start to do some of that learning. Summer is a great time to just take a little bit of learning here and there and start infusing it so that when you hit the craziness of September, you're going to feel way more confident, ready to roll with some strategies that you know are going to work to handle all that's going to be thrown your way. Managing the things that are on your plate, managing your responsibilities, the to-dos, the tasks, the meetings. When you learn to do that, you feel like you get more control of your days and that's more control of your life. And that's, my dear, what's going to move you from surviving to thriving in both your leadership and life. Go make the rest of your day and summer awesome.